A Twin Cities teenager with a passion for boxing is fighting for clearance to compete in a bout tomorrow night. She wants to fight while wearing her Muslim headscarf. But USA boxing officials say that request violates the rules. John Croman has her story. It's all new at 10. And I have headgear. This is just the headgear I would wear. When Amaya Zafar decided two years ago she wanted to box, her mom wasn't on board, but she's seen a transformation in her daughter. And I watched her grow into this very strong, confident young woman who has a lot of passion and a lot of drive. Amaya's pluck has changed attitudes at the gym. All the boys were around the ring and they're like, she's just a girl, you can beat her easy. And that I was shocked. I was like, have they never seen a girl box before, ever? Now the 15-year-old Oakdale girl is fighting a rule that would keep her from wearing a hijab under her boxing helmet or garments under her uniform. This is what they would want me to wear. It's just this yeah. and the trunks, but I want to wear the Under Armour underneath. Underneath, so it's black long sleeves that are like compression, so they're tight, and black leggings that are compression too. USA Boxing is seeking a waiver from the international organization in hopes of clearing the way for Amaya to compete in Duluth Friday. This is what I'm going to wear for my first fight. And it says? Bad girl. But for Amaya, it's not a matter of if, only when. Because you're confident at some point they will. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, they can't not ever. Like, if they don't, I'll die waiting for it to happen. <laughs> The USA Boxing did request a waiver, and that move was applauded today by the Council on American Islamic Relations. But still, no word yet on whether that waiver will be granted or whether it will happen in time for Maya to box in Duluth. Randy? All right. Thank you, John. Sure.